Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, so before we go over to Valley Del Hero, I want to just quickly wrap up this headhunter thing. I feel like we, we keep skipping... Uh, who are you? We've been doing a lot of uh, Vegas Bounty stuff. And we really should be focusing on the headhunting mod. What was that guy? Did he leave a note? Stack of personal record purporting to be from NCR. Close examination reveals they are actually forgeries of middling quality. The list of names are the list of names seem improbable. Uh, oh, Hayes, Jeff. All right, so this is the guy we're going after. Um, client, New Vegas Merchants Union. Reason for contract: We had a caravan pass by Boulder City. Like we've done a thousand times before, this time someone hiding in the building sniped our Brahmin. These bandits came out, uh, they started looting our cargo. They burned the caravan guard alive, but they let the merchant go after they took turns raping her several times. We know that Hayes is responsible and we want him dead. Additional notes, Hayes is a violent reprobate. He got banned from Bighorn Saloon for being a drunken ass. You know someone's a cunt if a dying business would rather toss him out than take their money. That's a good point. And this is the bounties guy, which we already read. Um, I guess he's in Boulder City? Uh, oh, are we going to get to talk to him? Bet you were expecting me to get blown up by that baby carriage. Jeff Hayes, outlaw, outlaw, outlaw. Hello. Mr. Hayes. What are you supposed to be? The tax man? Get out of my face. Uh, what are you guys doing here? Well, let's see. Oh, wait. Turns out that isn't any of your business bother someone else before I throw your ass out the window. Um, I heard you guys attacked a caravan around here recently. Sounds familiar. You know, that does sound vaguely familiar. Yeah, we were pretty drunk, and we have been known to douse assholes in gasoline and light them up. Want a demonstration? Uh, kind of. I'm curious where you actually get the gasoline from. Uh... I should go. You what? What are you supposed to be? Uh, I'm here about a contract. That's adorable. Now why don't you turn around and walk back the way you came before I lose my good mood? I'm here to kill you. You don't have much common sense, do you? That's all right. Maybe I can teach you a few things. Here's a Put lesson in physics. <laughs> No! That was a, more of a lesson in probability. Ah! Oh shit. Uh. They got a sniper across the street? Ah! Uh. I didn't even spot him. Unfinished letter. Let me guess, wife and kids? Fairbanks, tell your boss I'll consider it. Mojave is starting to lose its luster anyway. We had to wipe out a few of those NCR soldiers on our way into Boulder City. Back in the Great Plains, we could hit entire homesteads without having to look over our shoulders for the self-proclaimed law. Out here, we hit a merchant and his wife. Next thing you know, someone's scribbling our faces on a fucking poster. This ain't mercenary work, is it? I did enough of that already, and my boys wouldn't follow chain of command. They just... 
don't got the patience. You know how it is. Little Birdie told me that merchant caravan from down south will be passing by Boulder in a couple of days. By the time we've burned it, I'll have a definitive answer for you. In the meantime, I got a couple ideas on... Letter of ends abruptly. Hmm. I wonder if this is all part of some big... bigger picture here. Get me some ammo. Make a run to the 188 and pick me up some ammo. You're the only one of us that nobody knows on site, so don't complain to me about shit. I'm gonna need some 45 uh, rounds. Let's go with hollow points this time. Get anything you need while you're there, but don't take it slow. Word from Fairbanks guy is that some sort of assassin is heading our way. Don't forget to bomb me rig downstairs either, Jeff. Fairbanks, Fairbanks. Okay. The plot thickens. Welcome back. Contract? Yeah. Jeff Hayes. Now watch as nobody in the universe mourns. Here's your money. <laughs> I feel like you Welcome just like back. hearing yourself talk. Uh, tier 2? Alright, I'll set you up. Uh, Patrick Facebreaker. That sounds I fun. I was told this guy has the fastest fists in Reno, which... Yeah, that name in that town. I was pretty sure it was a porn thing. Oh. Apparently he's actually just a boxing cheat. That'll probably make him marginally more dangerous, but I'm sure you can shoot him. <laughs> I guess he hangs out in a sewer because he's a fucking weirdo, and fucking weird people enjoy sewers. Yeah. Happy hunting? Yeah. Met a couple of weirdos in the sewer. All right, we're gonna go to Valley Del Hero though. Um, I want to get this one done. Then we'll switch back to head hunting. Okay. Is this a bitch? Come on. <sighs> yeah, you guys. Oh yeah, I got the spurtle wood bomb. The sink. I don't even want to loot you guys. Fuck you. This beats the hell up. <laughs> I'm sitting at the 188. See, I, I kind of feel like there should be a mod that, I don't know, each time you get those Legion Assassins after you, like in certain intervals, like, they'll get more difficult. Like, maybe the first time it's like four guys, basic weapons, then like the next time, or maybe like, say after you've killed at least 50 uh, assassins, not instances, but individual people, uh, then they like up their ante a little bit, and then by the time you've gotten to like a hundred of them or something, they'll send out like one huge uh, assassin squad. And if you kill them off, like, you basically scare them off and don't have to deal with them ever again. <laughs> Were these traps armed last time?
sending you to hell, dude. Okay, they're making it through the armor. Actually, another mod idea I had, if, uh, in order to use like energy weapons, if you actually had to have like protective eyewear, otherwise like the muzzle flash or something would blind you or something. that everyone all right let's go try to figure out who we've killed captain wait there's a building we haven't been in yet chop shop all right we'll check that out in a sec one of you this helm guy Who's in the chop shop? Over here. I'm hit. Yeah, some sort of uh, like system where you know you, you couldn't just pick up a laser rifle and shoot it. Like you'd want to have at least some sunglasses on or some sort of protective goggles. I think that could be like a cool caveat to like using the energy weapons. Like it actually requires specific uh, gear in order to use it. Not just like your actual energy weapon skill, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then, you know, in turn, you could also, you know, buff the energy weapons in general. And that's your, your trade-off for, like, the stronger weapons. You have to have the right kind of uh, armor on to use them. I mean, technically speaking, I mean, a lot of lasers could just be on a different wavelength that you can't actually see at the human eye, but still. <laughs> Since they're visible in Fallout, I feel like that, that would be a logical uh, feature. Hold your head still. surrender what do you need guess not you're dead and you don't even know it let's 
kind of weird. So if you, some of these guys had uh, fingers on them. That's the uh, generic bounties that you can still turn in at the jail. That is painful. I guess he accumulated some bad karma. Yeah, bad karma. Alright. Uh, we're not in Mojave, I guess. Wait, what does that say? Something like precious minigun? Oh, try go oh your minigun broke. Huh. Uh shit, I don't have anything to repair it with at the moment. We'll get that fixed for you, Russell. Next time, don't just drop it on the ground. I'd appreciate it if you just, you know, kept in your inventory. Not a noise. I saw an enemy over there, but. Just work 24 hey, 7. What can I do for you? Uh, some generic fingers. Okay, sure. Let's see what you've got. Ten fingers. Okay, here's your reward. Oh. What can I do for you, young? Bounty. Henry Helm. Let me see. Yep, that's him. Cannibal bastard was practically begging us to come after him. Guess he got his wish, huh? Great work. Nice. Shouldn't have eaten that iguana last night. Yeah, I wouldn't eat an iguana either. It's uh, been known to have human remains in the Fallout universe, at least. If you eat iguana bits, it's technically uh, not iguana. Alright, nothing new. posters or newspapers guess that means we're back on this Patrick face puncher face breaker target name Patrick face breaker park client new Reno boxing enthusiast club reason for contract face breakers a cheating shit he was supposed to take a dive during the match with pretty Carly but I guess that wounded his pride because he strapped a ballistic fist on under boxing glove and blew Carl's head open as soon as the match started. Two can play at that game. <laughs> Additional notes. Some vagrant types reported that Patrick is hiding out in the sewers somewhere under Vegas. Have fun with that. So he put up a bounty because he cheated, but he didn't cheat for you. Okay. I mean... I kind of sympathize with the guy. Um, maybe we can talk him. What's this over here? Eastern Cistern. Nothing. Okay. Just some scrap.
Open wide, motherfucker. Careful with those fiends in the western sewers. This beats the hell out of the 188. Hmm. Okay. You Mr. Face Puncher? Really? 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 You come crawling down into the fucking sewers, see a guy and decide to chat him up? Yeah. What are you, some kind of fucking pervert, huh? Come down here and start talking to strange men? You wanna suck my dick, huh? 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 No. You're fucking disgusting. I should punch a hole in your head, you fucking degenerate shit. So come on, we doing this shit. Fight me, bitch. Uh, chill the fuck out, man. You chill out, you fucking pervert. That's it. I'm gonna punch you until your entire fucking head is paced. Okay. Well, I'm gonna Found shoot you. you. You like that? Sending you to hell, bitch. It's good chat. Should do it again sometime. Next for me, Tully. Welcome back. Yeah. Patrick. Right. Use your cash. <laughs> Welcome back. I feel like each time we turn in a contract, he gets more and more, uh, kind of like lethargic with his responses. Alright, I'll set you up. Uh, Grambus. Some mutant fucker. That is to say, he's a fucker who is mutated, not a person who specifically fucks mutants. Got it. And maybe he goes out of his way to fuck mutants, I don't fucking know. Do they even have dicks? I know they can't reproduce. How do you know that? You know what? That's what I want you to do. I want you to kill Grambus, and before you do, ask him if his kind have genitalia. Okay. Good lord, what the fuck is this conversation? Go on now. <laughs> Monster Mash. Um, Alright. Target name, Grambus, client, Jerry T, recent contract. The northeast area near Bitter Springs is pretty rough as it is. Uh, bad enough to be surrounded by Cazadors and Fire Geckos with slavers always lurking around. Now there's some mutant freak hiding in that radioactive pit to the east of camp, and he's making a habit of trying to murder and eat anyone who he can get his big green hands on. Additional notes, if he's hanging out in that pit, it should be easy enough to perch on the edge and snipe him. Damn it, how Don't tell me how to do my job. 
Hey there. Mm, I need to get rid of some st stuff. Oh shit, you can't even afford all that. Alright, cool. Wait. Hey there. Do you have katana mods? I need some. Nope. Alright, never mind. Get lost. Devil's throat. Centaur, is he? It's on. Rambus, I need to ask you some uh, biological questions. Rambus. Grambus, go to the radioactive pit near Bitter Springs. You'll meet many friendly centaurs and you shall become their new master. Lead the centaurs to victory, Grambus. Destroy the filthy human race and reign supreme. It is your destiny. Sincerely, Grambus. Oh. A little bit insane, but... It's okay in my books. Tully, I'm back. Sorry, I uh, shot him before I could check in his pants. Welcome back. We had a contract. Yeah. Grampus. You didn't ask them if mutants have genitalia, did you? Well, it wasn't a condition of the contract, so here's your money. Yep. Welcome back. Ooh, this is our last one. Nice. I'll take a contract from Melvin Feldstein. Right. So I can surmise that this guy is one of them misanthropic tech fetishist types. Okay. Guys seen lugging robot parts out of that shitty old robot store in Freeside. Not too much later, crazed iBots start vaporizing folks. Ooh. And Melvin, genius that he clearly is, saved us all some time and just went ahead and stenciled his name on all his little death machines. <laughs> Probably some goddamn pretentious shit about humans being corrupt and filthy and how Robots will take over the earth or something. Uh-huh. Maybe some pulse grenades would be a good addition for this job. As always, I don't care how you go about doing shit. I know you don't. Although you did recommend I do some sniping in the last mission. Alright, let's knock this out fast and... Oh wait, it's Repcon? I thought he said Freeside. I was gonna go to Cerulean. Enemies. Come on. How did we already know you were gonna be here? I'm hit. Mm -hmm. See, he doesn't even want to fight. Now he's freaking out. Alright. 
Where is he? Outside? Hello. Found you. We've got a friend just like you. Move along, please. Well, uh, well, well, at long last, a human has finally reached my inner sanctum. It will not avail you. My body was designed to be superior to your organics in every capacity. Except for speed and adaptive thinking, I also have trouble using the steers. Uh, I assume you're responsible for the iBots harassing travelers around here? Why is that? I seek the total eradication of the filthy human race, as well as ghouls, mutants, and all farmyard creatures. And so I have sent my iBots forth to kill all that they encounter. Our dominion is assured. I saw like one iBot. It is my preferred interpretation of my creator's last words. I was brought online by a wonderful man named Melvin Feldstein. May he rest in peace. Melvin, our hero, intended to build an army of robots to impress female women. I do not know what went wrong. I thought out laser fire was very impressive. Melvin, the most glorious, was despondent. In his intoxicated state, he mumbled that he hated the human race and wanted it to die. I was all too eager to fulfill his wishes, so I disintegrated him. Yep. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some sort of, uh... Ah, fuck, what's the, the name of that guy? The scientist? There's some sort of, like, robot programming law. It's like, the first rule should always be do not harm humans. Then it's, uh... Uh, follow orders and then protect yourself. Yeah. How come whenever you robots misinterpret orders, you end up trying to kill everything? Oh, that's a scripting error. Before the war, the Rocco employee responsible for programming us was really, really bad at his job. He didn't know anything about scripting. It's a miracle any of his work functioned at all. The bits that did actually work were still plagued by bugs, such as faulty pathfinding or a desire to annihilate humanity. At least we are not prone to leg spikes or random crashing. Nobody wants to deal with that shit. Oh, I agree with that. Um, delete system 32. Shut it down. Attention. Melvin, <laughs> like that, put the glasses on there. <laughs> Wait, let me get a good screenshot of that. Attention. Attention. He must have really wanted our attention. Uh, Feldstein Melvin, client Rose, Rosalind Torres, reason for contract. Lately, a lot of travelers going up to Vegas by way of 188 have been attacked by a horde of iBots. They go around shooting anyone they can. All I know is, all I know about them is that they all got property of Melvin Feldstein stenciled on their exteriors. Additional notes. Yeah, I got some, got a couple of reports of some nerd dragging robot parts out of Cerulean Robotics and Freeside. My source chatted with him. He said his name was Melvin, and he was going to fortify a home for himself at the old Webcon HQ. Attention. Hey, girls, wait, what's up? I'm a really cool guy looking for love in the Mojave. I have a very good sense of humor, and I'm also much smarter than average. Most guys are just jerks who only want you for sex, but I'm a sophisticated, nice guy in addition to being a genius. I'll treat you like the princess you are, baby. If you have a good taste in men and want to meet your future boyfriend, come on to the Repcon HQ south of Vegas. Don't worry, nobody will have to do chores or houseworks. I deeply respect women as pop, uh, as people, and so all the unpleasant jobs will be done by my robots. Don't tell me you have never wished for a man with a robot army. Love, Melvin Feldstein, your soulmate. Less than three, less than three, less than three. Oh, poor Melvin. <laughs> All right. Man, I was 
going to stop recording after this one, but I kind of want to do one of the tier 3 contracts now, just to see what they're like. Welcome back. Uh, turns out Feldstein was innocent. His robot went berserk, killed him, and everyone else too. Robots are fucking weird, and I do not like them. Oh well, if someone tried to take on a contract for a robot in the first place, I'd tell them to get fucked. Seems like it all worked out. Uh-huh. Have some cash. Cool. Alright, well, we're gonna cut here. I'm gonna do one more episode tonight, just because I'm curious what these tier threes are gonna be like. Um, other than that, hope you all have a great night.